If you want to know how I turned this into this, then stay tuned. So welcome back to another video guys and in this video we're going to go ahead and look at how I rig up my DD 3x3 meter tarp. We're going to string it up here behind me so let's get right so in. turning the camera around here, um, these two trees here are the trees that I'm going to put the tarp up between. Now normally we'd want to clear the area. Now I'm going to do it a little bit but I'm not staying here this is just to the video so I'm not going to disturb the ground too much. So this is my tarp, this is the DD 3x3 three meter, three meter tarp but I put it in this dry bag. So when we open the dry bag, the first thing we find is these two bits of cord. Now these are the ridge line. Um, I pack this in a certain way to make it easier. So we've got our ridge line. So we're gonna go ahead and tie one end to one tree, one end to the other tree with two different knots. So let's have a look at those. So we're at one of our trees here. I'm gonna take one of our ender, one end of our ridge line here. Now, I'm going to do it quite low down here, but actually I'd be putting it much further up this tree here. So the knot we're going to do on this end is going to be our fixed end. Now, my choice for the fixed end is the event hitch or the Siberian hitch. Lots of different names for it. I'll leave a link in the top cor uh, top corner here um, and in the description to, to where you can f uh, find information uh, and see some good videos on that. But to quickly go through it, we take our end around the tree at the height we desire. We wrap it around our finger. We never point a gun towards ourselves. So imagine we're making a gun here. Never point the gun towards yourself. So you're gonna point it towards the tree and up. And then you're gonna pass a loop from this side, make a loop and pass it through there. And then we're gonna pull on that loop away from the tree to lock it. And then we're going to pull our main line towards the tree and it ratchets down onto the tree. And we end up with this loop and this tail. And as soon as, when we're tearing down, all we have to do is pull this cord like that. And it all comes undone nice and easily. So, as I say, this is going to go further up the tree. And now we're going to take our other end and go to our other tree. So then we're running our other end to our other tree. There's a wee knot here. And I know the height here for this one it needs to be just below this knot. So we're going to wrap our cord around the tree. Pull through as much of the slack as we can. We're going to come down a little bit if we can wrap it on the trees. Come down a little bit more. So that it's level. I'm going to run, so at this end, the knot we're trying to tie is a tensioning knot to get as much tension in our line as possible. So we're going to pass over the top with as much of the flat pull through and then we're going to ratchet it back on itself. And then we're going to walk around our tree pulling this tight. Now with the length cord I've got here, we're only going to get the one. I often would try and go for two, so I go again. But I'm not going to be able to tie that off today. So instead, we're just going to tie it off. And I tie it off again, just with an, a kind of modified event hitch, almost. That's a little bit loose there. That's the issue that we run into here with only doing it once. Um, I'm actually, let me just go adjust this other side, I might be able to get a look. So I've just adjusted the other side there, we might now just have enough cordage to maybe get around it twice. So going over, pulling back on itself, going around, and then pulling back on itself again. And then we come back around and we do our event here. And there is a pretty tight. So there we go. We've now got our tarp hanging on the ridge line. So I keep my tarp pre-attached to the ridge line by the three centre loops. We've also then got our two prussics. 
I'm not going to show you how to do the Prusik in this video. If you want to know, there'll be links and stuff in the description to all of these things. So one Prusik goes one way and one Prusik comes the other way. But the gist of a Prusik is it's tied to the line. When we try to slide it, it slides, but when we try to tug it, it doesn't. So it's a really good way of tensioning our tarp. So now, we can take our bag off the bottom of our tarp. Now what I tend to do with our bag is put it, pop it to the line here. And now what we need is we need two kind of decently sized sticks. One, two. So what we're looking for is the end tie out of our tarp. And here it is. And what I've got on here is a small piece of bungee cord. And what I do is I take the bungee cord to the prusik and pass the prusik loop through and I pop a stick through that loop. And that then attaches that end to our prusik. And then we do the same on this side. So loop, prusik loop goes through, stick through, prusik loop. And then what we can do is we can pull on the prusiks and we get a nice tight top. And we can also adjust where in between our trees the tarp the is hanging. And now we're ready to guy the tarp out. Of my guy lines pre-attached to the sixth tie out point. Now if I had pegs I could peg it out. If I have trees I can tie it out through the trees. Um, Let's see what our angles are like here. We want, we want to tie our middle ones first. So when we're coming out on the middle ones, we want to come straight in line with our tab. On the corners, when we come to do these, we want to come off at a 45 degree angle. We don't want to be coming off like this or like this, out at a 45. So we're going to look out at where it could go, depending on how long your guy lines are, will depend where you can go to. So the reason we start with the middle ones is that's how you get the best pitch. So looking out here, this is probably going to come out here and I'll just make a peg by sticking a piece of wood into the ground. The knot I use here is the taut line hitch and that allows it to be adjustable so that I can keep the tension. But I put, a loop, I put it as a quick release one so if we want to make it last longer we can pop a stick in there. So now we'll do the middle one now we've done the middle one, we can do the side ones, but we can also, we should also try and do the middle on both sides first. So there we are. The tarp all pitched up. So you can see the middle two points I've actually got pegged down, whilst the four corners I've got pegged kind of out to trees. Now the reason for that is it means that if it rains, the water will flow off that middle point, and it actually also allows us to collect water. Um, but there we are, that's how to get, that's how I get my tarp nice and tight like this. Um, quite low in this configuration, this would be quite good here if it was raining and I was just sitting underneath it. If I was going to hammock, I'd want it quite a bit higher. Um, but for ground camping, that would actually be quite nice. You might even want to drop it or drop the sides. Um, especially in this woods, we do quite often get some wood, eh, some wood, some wind through these woods. So you might want to drop the sides, but it's quite nice. Um, so there we are. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you learned something. I know it's a little bit shorter. Um, hopefully you learned there uh, maybe some new techniques on how to rig up your tarp um, or just found it enjoyable to see how I rig mine up. So that's it for this one guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please hit that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well. Make sure to check out the links in the description if you want to find out more information about the tarp and the knots that I've used. And until next time, bye for now.